Hello guys, um, this is Edward from HAXL. So this video is for Math Studies 2019 tip questions and I know that uh, after you watch this video you get like a few questions uh, more familiar with, okay? So with some topics because I've just made a few questions for you guys and I know that is not enough for you guys, right? So uh, make sure that you sign up for part two videos and uh, parts of the video you will have a whole bunch of questions for math studies and it will be like one entire paper and I'll show you how to tackle the exam questions like over 10 questions uh, wait actually it's 15 questions okay and uh, you will see like how how I do the questions and it will be a step-by-step -step guide so make sure you sign up for part two so see you guys in the video question three for math studies cumulative frequency questions okay so for this one uh, I'll be choosing like some harder questions okay so for a study, a researcher collected 20 watermelons. Yeah, so you know that the total here would be 20 watermelons. And we're uh, like measuring the length of the uh, watermelon. So write down the median length of the watermelon. So how do you find the median from the cumulative graph? Is always find the middle, right? So 20 divided by 2 is 10, yeah? So from here, and then you draw a line here, then that will be 9 cm. That's it, very easy, yeah? So. The researcher finds that only four watermelon have a length greater than XCM. Yeah, so four watermelon greater than XCM. What does that mean? So that means you're not drawing a line from four. Yeah, so common mistake is that student draw a line from four and then they, they will just write eight. Okay, but that's all wrong because it's greater than X. So you have to draw, you have to figure out the, the, the unit, four units from top down. Okay, so that's 20, uh, 18, and a 16. So that is the four people that is greater than XCM. So you draw a line from 16. So that's the technique. So you draw down from here, then you get 10. Yeah, so that will be 10 CM. That's it. Do you get that? So this is very commonly tested in the IB Math Studies exam. Okay, you need to be able to master the skills. And question four, so the last question in our part two, so that will be on the exchange rate, yeah? So Claudia travels from uh, Hong Kong to the UK. So he she exchanged uh, ten thousand Hong Kong dollars to um, oh actually it's one thousand uh, pounds right so then uh, the exchange rate is one Hong Kong dollars equals to zero point one GBP right so the bank charged five percent commission rate of the exchange however on the way to the bank Claudia accidentally lost hundred dollars yeah so how do you find the amount of uh, pounds that Claudia received after exchange okay give your answer to two decimal places. So basically, you need to know that the uh, the uh, first um, she's bringing like ten thousand dollars, right? But how much left when when she gets to the bank because she lost like hundred dollars, right? So that will be nine thousand nine hundred Hong Kong dollars. So that's the first thing you need to figure out, right? And then next, because we know that the rate is one HKD to zero point one GBP, right? So we have 9900, zero, zero. yeah? Okay, so then you, how do you turn it to like the, um, the pounds, right? So basically all you need to do is just looking at the different, uh, at the multiplier here, right? So one to 9,900 HKD, so it's multiplying by 9,900. So you multiply on the left-hand side, then you need to be multiplying on the right-hand side as well. So basically, you will have the 9,900 times 0 0.1. So that is what you get, right? So it's 990 uh, uh, GBP, right? But this is not the end because the bank will charge you for the service, right? For 5%. So you're not taking all this away. So you'll be taking only how many percentage uh, left. Okay, of course you can do it by two steps, okay? So step one, you can count the bank charge, yeah? So that will be this amount. So before you take the money, you have to give 5% to the bank. So 5% means 0 0.05. So 990 times 0 0.05. So that is 49.5 pounds. So finally, step two, just minus the service charge. Then you get what you get, right? So 990 minus 49.5 yeah so that would be 940.5 pounds but two decimal places so don't write 0.5 so you have to write 
technique of this is point zero. Even nothing at the end, you have to write zero at the end. Yeah, so that's why that will be fitting the two decimal places. Okay, because otherwise the examiner won't be able to know that. Oh, after that, is it like you round it up or something? Yeah, so add a zero at the end. So that is how you do that. Of course, the other way to do that is just 990 times 0 0.95. Okay, so, so that is a more advanced trick. So it's just that you, you minus sink the 5% from 100%, so you have 0 0.95. So you can calculate that by one go or separate into two steps. So it's fine either way.